on go. Um, hello, welcome to episode 29 of uh, you wanted to flex your meme game, right? Oh, I just realized I was moved. <laughs> hey, Peter Afra. Uh, well, so, like I said, welcome to episode 29. Uh, Pico, you wanted to flex your game, as you told me? Oh, yeah. Uh, the demo for Felix the Toy and the Big Adventure will be coming out soon. So, uh, when the demo comes out, you can pre order the full game for $2. Cool. Cool, uh, and uh, I'll be sure to play a demo I can talk about it on um, whenever episode following. Yeah, it can, it, can, it can run on potato PC, so you're fine. Uh, my PC's not potato, it's okay. Uh, anyway, if you have no other topics, uh, let's get into our film. Uh, last episode, I picked Magical Girl. It's a uh, pretty awesome Fantastic movie. movie, by the way. Yeah, people say we don't talk about good movies, that's because no, they didn't watch this. Uh, so yeah, yeah um, what uh, what is it? More deep. So I got. <laughs> uh, here's my general opinion on this movie. Uh, at first, I thought it was going to be a completely different movie, kind of movie. Um, and then when it started to become a thriller, I was like, "What the hell's going on?" Like, I did not expect this at all. Yeah, this um, is batshit crazy. The final act is legit, like fucking nuts in this movie. Like, it's nothing like you'd expect. Yeah, like. Oh yes, this is spoilers. Like, like uh, there's one symbol that I realized the, the big puzzle piece represents Damon's morality. It gets, he rehabilitates as the puzzle gets going on. Then he destroys it and just goes insane. Like he's destroying morality when he destroyed the puzzle. So, uh, this movie's plot is about a is about a sick uh, little girl who wants a, a Japanese costume, but it's like a lot of money. Yeah, and there's also um, so the father gets into shady shit. Uh, to pay for it. Yeah, it costs, like, well, how much did it translate to, in U.S. dollars, it was, yeah, dollars. Yeah, it costs, like, 8,000 American dollars. And I think the language is Italian. No, it's Spanish. This film is from or Spain. Spanish, yeah. That's what I kind of figured. I just wasn't sure. <laughs> it's all Greek to me, um, as they say. Yeah, uh, the only thing I didn't really like about this movie altogether was the pacing in the middle was kind of weird. Uh, like, there's a lot of still shots in this movie, if you've noticed. Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, there's a reason for that, obviously, but the still shots in this movie just kind of drag on in the middle. But um, it's not really a bad criticism. It's just something I noticed when I was watching. I'm like, man, nothing's like really happening. Oh, here's a question. And what like, do you think uh, goes on the, in the Black Lizard room? Because they never show what goes on in that room. What the fuck? <laughs> um, oh, another thing. Uh, the final act. Um, well, obviously there's spoil tags, but uh, yeah. the father of the little girl, um, he, he, he gets karma really fucking badly. <laughs> um, and the people in the restaurant. Like, they get karma, too? Yeah. Um, uh, oh. But, okay, I'm, I'm, l let me explain this in the farther detail. The final shot of this movie is very haunting. Like, that's some brilliant uh, cinematography. Yeah, where um, the cell phone disappears, like how in the opening prologue, the note disappeared. Yeah, um, if you guys like good foreign films... Uh, that kind of like are slowish a little bit, then you'll probably like this movie a lot. Um, oh, this slow. It wasn't the best movie in the world, but it's definitely one of the best foreign movies I've seen in a while. <laughs> or one of the more interesting ones. Yeah, this movie's fantastic. It's on YouTube as well, so it's easy to find. Uh, yeah, we uh, we can link the, the movie in the podcast. Yeah, no, I don't think that'll be a good That's idea. description. But, um, <laughs> overall, like, the movie didn't really grab me too much until, like, the batshit third act. <laughs> uh, 
But it, it was a pretty good pick by Peter Afro. Like I I could have picked a lot worse, honestly. <laughs> Yeah. Um, to get back to more in depth discussions, I'll figure out how to do that. I also got to figure out my pick for next week because oh. I honestly don't. I didn't think about it too much this week when I should have been. Okay. So um, let me. Well, we don't have any questions. But I think. So. But I think my pick's going to be uh, um, lesson from the evil that we started and never finished. Oh. Okay. I, I think that's going to be my pick for this week. Okay. But yeah, uh, uh, do you have any like questions? Uh, nope. Um, to make happen. this episode little, to make this episode a little longer, I want to uh, talk talk about one film that I've been wanting to talk to Peter about. Um, uh, it's a German adaptation of a of a novel called uh, "The Empty World." It's like a TV movie. Um, I would have picked. I would have picked that for the, but we can't find it online, or I can't find it online, so I can't really pick it. But uh, yeah, the, uh, there isn't really much to talk about it except for the fact that it's based on a very obscure book, and it's like a very obscure movie. Mm, it's probably online somewhere. Uh, um, but overall, like uh. Magical Girl surprised me, mainly because uh, I didn't really expect it to be this kind of movie. Like, when Peter described the movie to me, I'm like, oh, it's a drama. You know, it's a drama about a man that's, like, losing his daughter. So he's like, okay, I got to get this girl the outfit. And that's probably what I thought was going to be the whole thing. Oh, no. And then I'm like, oh, like, that's not <laughs> even it at all. Yeah, this, I, yeah, this, movie, had, this movie was full of surprises and it was awesome. Um... So with that close, with that done, I pick uh, Lesson from the Evil for my uh, SFW pick for next week. All right, that's me, episode 30, nice. Um, it's a very controversial movie because of the current like stuff that's happening, but um, we'll get to that when we get to that. All right. Um, also, a uh, uh, closing comment. We're going to possibly be bringing somebody on. We'll see. Uh, to the podcast to spice it up a little bit. Yeah, I think two people's. I think more would be good because, like, episode five, we had four people. It was a garbage episode, but it was a lot. Of, it was just pure chaos. It was kind of epic. <laughs> okay, so. Yeah, speedy film watchers. Uh, this podcast can do better, and I think I think we're working towards that. You know. Yeah. I think. Uh, uh, I think this suggests for future podcast episodes. Uh, we should structure this a little bit differently. We should have an introduction of who's in the podcast, and then uh, each of us can give our opinions on the movie, and it then we can get to discussing the character and the plots. Uh, we could do it like in order, like a serialized fashion, you know? Mm. Like when and, uh, specific topics outlined? Yeah, like we dedicate like 10 minutes per, like, we can dedicate like 5 to 10 minutes per, like, section of the oh. discussion. Okay, like, I'll outline the discussion um, questions that I can, like, find yeah. online or make my own. Okay. That's... So, I think that's way we, that's one of the ways we can improve this thing, is make a more dedicated talking process. Yeah. Yeah, this is good. So it doesn't like seem as rushed is. and, like, distorted. Yeah, so less free, make it a little less of a free-for-all, because free-for-alls run out quick. But yeah, like... um, but with that said, uh, uh, the, the the movie for next week is kind of shit crazy, like uh, Magical Girl is. Good. Um, especially the final act. <laughs> All right. Uh, um. Well, to give you guys a hint of the next week's episode, uh, the t teachers like sexually harass kids and stuff. It's like legit, like trash cinema, but it's like kind of good trash cinema. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's. You know, my closing comment there. Right. Oh, but that will end this episode here, and I'll put in this put in this idea for future episodes. So, uh, Marvel, uh, Marvel is fucking stupid for going against Sc Scarsese. Oh. I can't say his name. Oh, yes, yeah, Scorsese. Oh, yeah, that's very epic. Scorsese is a million billion times better director than Marvel will ever be. Well, so, suck it, haters. Marvel. When you direct a Marvel movie, you have no creative control. 
Mm-hmm. It's basically career suicide. Not, I would um, say for that some people. Working with Disney, you can get a lot of money of it and increase, make you more well known. It still can help, but you know, you still gotta do your own stuff. Why would you want to waste your time directing a movie you have no control money. over? It's all because you get money and publicity. Like some directors have tons of money already. Like I wouldn't even waste my time with that. Honestly. Yeah, I would never waste my time with them. And I'm writing, and I always intend on potentially writing an Avengers fan fan script. Not fans, uh, but only technically. Now, if Disney allowed you to write the script fully and actually, like, change things, then I wouldn't see a problem with it. Yeah. But, like, when you're not even allowed to alter scenes because you don't think it works, then how is that your vision at all? <laughs> That's a good point. Like, the craft of making movies is to make something in your mind that you want to see on the screen, not what other people want. Mm, that is, that's true. Uh, um, Martin Scorsese, like, that man's a fucking legend. <laughs> and he met Akira uh, Kurosawa. Yeah, like, <laughs> that whole uh, the crazy thing of war going on, on the internet is just dumb. Stupid, whatever. I, I, I hate Disney. Like, I despise everything that Disney does. Yeah, I think it's stuck. Shout out to Disney for and now they- the anti Nazi message of Jojo Rabbit might be too edgy. For its audience, based. even though Walt Disney was a fucking Nazi himself, <laughs> I thought that was a myth. Well, it is. I'm just playing with the meme here. <laughs> but um, no. Uh, Disney has controlled the Alien franchise, and God, God help that. <sighs> At least we have the book still. Yes, go literature. Uh, and uh. James Cameron was in talks of making an alien movie, and since Disney bought them out, I don't think that's going to happen anymore. Mm. So, uh, rip that. Well, are we too busy with the Avatar sequels? Uh, it's six fucking Avatar sequels. Are no, you four. kidding me? Just four. I can barely remember the first one. I don't remember Jack Squat at the first. Oh, uh, the first one was a copy of uh, Dancing with Wolves plot. Oh, yeah, I know. That's the meme. <laughs> <laughs> Literally the same plot, just in a fantasy setting. I don't know, maybe I'll rewatch it. The pump a sequel. Just for... <laughs> you didn't go Disney... Deep. Disney needs to be killed as a company. Uh, like, I don't care how it happens. If it, if it, even if it happen, has to happen illegally, I don't give a shit. <laughs> just fucking take him down. Someday. And give all the IPs to people that care. Someday. Like, I can't even name a single Disney movie in the last 10 years that hasn't been trash. Uh, Other than Toy Story 3, but that's Pixar. Yeah. Uh, Toy Story 4 wasn't even that good, to be honest. Yeah, 4 felt very derivative. Like, they took the whole toy not thinking it's a toy concept again. Jane having to find yeah. Woody again. My biggest complaint about Toy Story 4 is uh, they 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 did Randy Newman dirty. Like, instead of uh, making a full Randy Newman soundtrack like they always do, they just merged 2 and 3's music together. With one new song. Yeah. Uh, I don't remember that song. Toy Story has always been about the cool-ass music ever since the first one. And music, they just... like, he did the soundtrack for that movie uh, Marriage Story. Here it's really good. Can't wait for the job on Netflix. And they, they did Randy Newman Dirty with Toy 4. If I was him, I'd never do it again. Hopefully this, hopefully a fifth one never happens. Uh, d- didn't Disney literally come out and say no more sequels for anime movies for like 20 years? Mm, uh, pressing next to doubt. Unless that's a rumor. Oh, uh... Yeah, uh Um, have you seen the City of Ember movie, Peter Afro? The what? The City of Ember movie. Never heard of it. They're based on uh, books that I had to read in English class when I was like 12. Huh. Oh, uh, I'm assuming in high school you had to watch Of Mice and Men. Well, read it. Or uh, read it. Yeah, read it. Dude, that's a good fucking book. Hmm. 
Are we gonna play with the rabbits? Uh, well, we yeah, can get. Well, uh, you wanna cast something, Peter? Sure. Uh, well, Dana, thank you for all for watching. Uh, I know this turned to random nonsense for ten minutes. <laughs> Yeah. Last 10 minutes, but okay, it was fun. So we'll see you uh, next time. We'll hopefully be a little more structured. Yeah, I hope so too. <laughs> and hopefully, have more people. All right, later, Peter. See ya.